Hello Buns and welcome to another weekend in our life and this weekend is actually my birthday weekend so I'm so excited to take y'all along. It is currently Friday December 17th and it's around 4 p.m. and this evening I actually have a really fun appointment at a place I've actually taken y'all before, the Golden Carrot. They're doing a cute event where they're bringing in an ear piercer and you get a piece of jewelry so I'm just gonna get one a little spot on my ear done with two of my other good pals and I thought it'd be a fun like pre-birthday celebration. And then tomorrow I am hosting a huge holiday party at my house. Don't worry everybody coming is vaccinated, negative for COVID so taking precautions there but I'm just so excited to have a housewarming, a birthday party, a holiday party, just kind of combine everything into one and share it with y'all. And I'm excited to see how Cinnabon does. I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna keep her in her space, but I don't know, I'm just super excited for everything. So this weekend is gonna be hectic, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna be a lot of just seeing my friends and doing fun stuff, so I hope that you guys enjoy it. But let's go ahead. It is almost time to go to the piercing party, gotta go after work, so let's do it. Cinnabon! Hi, baby. Oh, play time. This lighting is funny. It's literally already getting dark. It's 5.15, it's almost dark. But I got this cute little dot right here. Let me see if I can get this to focus. I got this little dot where it's like a stack above my first piercing and I think it's so cute. Oh, it was so fun. I felt like I was 22 years old being wild and crazy getting a piercing, but I think it's super cute and gonna be really fun to have for my party tomorrow. I am back in the car and I am picking up one of my very best friends from the airport. She is literally flying in for 36 hours from San Francisco for my party and I am gonna die. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see her. She hasn't seen my house yet. She actually hasn't even met Cinnabon because the pandemic and she couldn't. So I'm so excited to see her. So you'll definitely be seeing her in the vlogs. Ah, let's go get her. Good morning, everybody. It is the morning of my actual birthday, and you might be thinking, uh, we didn't really see much from your party, and you are correct in thinking that. To be completely honest, I was so just like consumed with planning everything, getting it set up, seeing my friends being present there, that I tried to get some clips here and there that I hopefully inserted, but the priority for me was to be present, be with everyone, and it was so fun, but man, I am exhausted. <laughs> but it is actually my 28th birthday today, Yay, you can, if you can't tell that I'm aging from the bags under my eyes from how tired I am. But I started my day off like anybody would on their birthday by getting blood drawn. <laughs> um, I have a little band-aid on my arm, you can't see it. It just so happened to fall on my birthday. I needed to get blood work done. But I figured that today we could go along for more of a day in our lifestyle, just Cinnabon and I hanging out. We don't have too many plans, it's a Monday, nothing crazy. I have a dinner tonight, but just hanging out with Cinnabon, doing our thing and bringing y'all along. Please also do not mind the pimple patch on my <laughs> face. Uh, I feel like anytime I stay up late or just do anything out of the norm, I get a new little pimple. And so we're working on removing her. But that is the plan. Bryant, I think, is actually out going to be coffee, which is very sweet because he is not a morning person. So the fact that he is up and doing that is true love in his book. He's arriving.
Look! It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Hello, I'm actually currently getting ready. I figure it's my birthday. I should feel cute and pretty on my birthday and not like the uh, gross Monday, you know, that kind of vibe. Also, I'm going to dinner tonight, so if I get ready now, don't have to get ready later. I'm hoping that this video has enough content in it. I'm not a vlogger. It's not it's not a thing I usually do. So this weekend, especially when I'm around a ton of people who aren't like internet people, I don't want to just have a camera in their face. I want to enjoy my birthday and enjoy my friends and just spending that time. I am hoping that with the three videos a week y'all are enjoying just kind of the more like behind the scenes kind of stuff. This channel is typically like very like bunny 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 centric and I'm trying to make it more like having that bunny content but also being a very realistic look into like what life as just like a bunny owner can look like and normalizing that like being a bunny owner is no different than being a dog owner, a cat owner, or just like a human being. You're just owning and loving this animal. Long story short, I'm hoping that these like vlogs and more just like behind the scene content are still interesting to you guys and stuff that you like to see. So let me know if you're enjoying the vlogs. I'm honestly really enjoying it. This is the kind of content that I really like to watch and see. So I figure if I like to watch it, it's content that I should at least attempt making, you know? So yeah, I'm just trying really hard to film when I can, just be like really genuine with it. And it's tough though. People who like daily vlog, oh my God, it's, it's hard to remember your camera. It's hard to just think about it. It's an extra layer. Um, and that's something I never fully thought about it until I started getting more into this channel and making more than one video a week which it's been a lot, but it's been fun. So I hope you guys are liking the Jingle Bun videos and the fact that there are three a week, but because there's three videos a week, there's no way I could do just like three straight up only bunny things. I feel like I would run out of ideas really quickly. So it's been fun to kind of diversify my content a little bit. It is such a real thing though, like getting ready and just feeling more like yourself. Not that like you need makeup to be yourself or be beautiful, but there is something to like when I'm feeling gross and drowsy if I get ready it just automatically makes me feel more awake and more productive so that was kind of my plan here and it totally is working it's a placebo for sure but it's an effective placebo anyway let's get on with our day hello have you come to hang out okay and she's gone Whenever you want snuggles, they don't want it, but whenever you're busy, that's when they want all of the attention. But my sister and my mom just came by and my sister gave me a birthday gift. Their shoes. So they're from this brand, Veja, I think is what it is, but um, I actually have never heard of them. And she was telling me that they're very trendy, so I guess that this is like what being old feels like. Not knowing what's cool, but aren't they so cute? I love the colors. I love just like the neutral and the cream vibe. So cute. Please do not chew them. All I do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I've longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out of So I'm on my way to my birthday dinner from some of my friends from college. They are the sweetest. We're gonna go to Dilworth Tasting Room if anyone is familiar with Charlotte restaurants. Dilworth Tasting Room, if you are in the Charlotte area, they have the best espresso martinis ever, ever. So that's why, that's why I have to go. So yes, we're gonna do that. I just fed Cinnabon her dinner. And then I think after dinner, Bryant and I are gonna have like our own little celebration ourselves. So we'll get to that. Bryant, tell me what you made. With the peanut butter pie. My favorite dessert in the world is a peanut butter pie from a place in DC. And he recreated it. Cinnabon helped. Right, Cinnabon? Cinnabon taste tested a raspberry. Did you taste test the raspberry? I'm eating my dessert. And Cinnabon's eating her dessert. It is actually the next day, but I realized I never closed the vlog last night. So I am here on the floor trying to get my rabbit to love me, but clearly 
she just wants her dinner. I hope that y'all did enjoy this little look into my life. It was really chill. Oh, hello! Cinnamon. <laughs> Cinnamon! I'm trying to get this out. Okay. Okay. I hope that y'all are enjoying Jingle Bun Days though because there's actually only one Jingle Bun video left and that'll be coming out on Sunday. So we will see you on Sunday. Bye, buns. I've decorated